Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I want to show you the new cell phone overlay kit that was just released. It's in all of the main colors, the uh, jewel tone, primary, and pastels. So I've already taken the PNGs from the, that I downloaded from the shop and I've made them into a Good Notes sticker book. You can see you get 10 different colors. You get the gradient and then the nine different colors. And each cell phone has a matching uh, note paper kit. Now, I don't know if you've seen, but there is another cell phone kit in the shop that you can get. It's similar. And these ones are just your basic cell phones, um, but they're not overlays. So they're, they're just black, so it would look like a turned off cell phone or you could paste your image on top. And it also comes with the notes and the, the same kind of color options. The difference is it's a sticker and not an overlay. With the overlays, they're transparent with a bit of a glare on them so that you put this sticker on top of whatever is gonna be the cell phone image. This is very similar to the tablets. I think I did a video a few weeks ago on those. It's the same idea. The um, cell phones that you get in the desk devices kit are the cell phone sticker, which is different from the overlays. So you can see this is more like the original style of cell phone stickers as opposed to the new ones. So I'm just going to show you um, something really quickly with, with both kinds of cell phones. So let's use... I'm going to go with the red jewel tone. So if we're using the cell phones, this is where we put the cell phone down first. And I'm just going to use a blank page in my Kiss Planner just to, to play with these stickers here. So this is what the basic cell phone looks like. And then let's grab the overlay one as well. So here's the overlay. So there's a couple differences. We already talked about how this one is transparent with a glare, and this one is sort of like a turned off cell phone. The other thing I is that here, the corners are squared. It's a 90 degree square. And with the overlays, they're rounded. This is nice because if you're trying to put something on top of this one, you can line up your corners. And it, again, because this is going on top, it just kind of rounds off those corners. So they're both perfect for their uses. So if we were to use this, um, you've seen a lot of cell phone spreads posted in the group and they're super cute. So we can either build on top of the cell phone or make the spread and then put this one down on top. So if we did it, here we go. So I've grabbed a kit here. And if we were to set up just a quick, that is not what I meant to do, a quick spread. Let's do a spread for Friday. I'm going to grab the Friday. We need a background. Let's see here. I'm using the denim leopard kit. It's super cute. It's got lots of autumn themed stickers. And I'm very much in an autumn mood lately, even though this weekend the weather was so hot. But we can just sort of build a spread right on top. I'm just zooming in so I can get a better idea of how it's lining up. So I'm going to line this right up to the top here. We still have a bit of room on the bottom. With some stickers you can stretch them and they still 
look all right stretched. Some it doesn't always work out. And when you stretch them, it sort of stretches from it to a center point. So what I would do is make the sticker the same distance from the top and the bottom. That way when I stretch it, it equals. So that one stretches kind of nicely, so I don't need to worry about finding something to fill the bottom. And then let's put our Friday sticker on. I'm just going to close those because we don't need them anymore. Do we have some numbers? <laughs> we do. Uh, Friday will be Monday the 11th, I think. So let's grab our 11. We can set that up beside the word Friday. What I like to do for a phone style spread is just to keep it simple, like a to-do list or something, because there's not a lot of room. And then I would just decorate the layout beside it. That one's going to be too big once I stretch it. What else can we do here? There's another one here. Oh, that one's cute. With the red gingham. But I think I might stick with the denim. I think what I'll do... Let's make two of these. If you ever need to make a list that's longer, um, you can copy it twice. And we'll say crop and just nip off these top stitches there and place it over top of the bottom stitches there. I'm just going to zoom in and make sure everything is lined up. It's not perfect, but unless you're really looking, you're not even going to notice. So I'm going to put that... Hang on. The sticker... Here, let me show you. The stickers aren't lining up. See how they kind of are on an angle? There's that white space there and it gets wider as you go to the bottom. That happens to me sometimes. If it happens to me, I'm sure it happens to other people. But I'm just going to rock the stickers a little bit. And it seems to snap them back into place. The only problem with it is it changes the size a little. So now I need to resize it. See, it's a little bit too big. There we go. Okay. So we'll put our little to-do list there. And I love this pumpkin. So we're going to put the pumpkin at the bottom. And there's a quick phone planner spread for you. So now I've done it. With the basic phone sticker, let's take this whole thing, we'll do a quick copy and paste, and I'm going to delete the sticker from behind. I'm going to cut the overlay and paste it back down, and then let's just get it see, positioned over. So you can see there's the same layout done with two different phones and the different look that they have. So this one has kind of that glare, so it looks like a little bit more realistic of a cell phone.
But if I wanted to make any changes to it, I have to move the overlay out of the way, make my changes, cut the overlay to bring it back up to that top layer and put it back on. This one I can make changes as I go a lot easier. Um, you could use the overlay sticker the same as this bottom sticker and just paste this whole bit on top and you wouldn't even notice the difference. It would just look like this one. Um, so they both work. This one sort of has a more realistic finished look, which I really like. This one is a little bit better if you're kind of, if you actually are going to use it on your phone as a phone planner, or if you do a lot of editing as you go throughout the day. Um, but there you go. That gives you a little bit of an idea. I'll link all the different kits that I used in the description. So make sure you take a look, reach out to me if you have any questions and that's it for now. So we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.